So our first question comes from Matt. Matt has a question uh, that I've kind of answered a few times recently, but it's a good question, so we'll come back to it. I've heard you mention on several occasions, forgive me if I misheard or misunderstood, where you think weighted dips and the squat portion of the Mass Made Simple program would be fairly effective. Yeah. Uh, uh, we talk about it in the book Easy Strength and Effective. I think it's called Easy Hypertrophy or something like that in the book. Uh, you know, in this perfect world or this strange world, we can only do two exercises for mass building. You know, I mean, I would say no question the back squats on that list, but I would put the weighted dip in there too. If you can handle it, if it doesn't give you the problems we've talked about so many times in the podcast, many adolescent boys tell me it hurts their sternum. And of course, most of the males I work with have bad shoulders. So it just exacerbates that shoulder pain. So, you know, your mileage may vary, if you can, the back squat program from Mass Made Simple plus the weighted dips might be pretty good. And again, when it comes to building mass, you've got to have some patience and you got to work hard. And that's the hardest thing. Uh, there's a phrase that got tossed around a lot in the early 2000s called time under tension. And I always liked that phrase because it made sense to me about what you need for hypertrophy. You need to really hit the muscles for longer periods of time. Um, that's why you'll find like something as simple as isometrics will work for about six weeks. Uh, I find higher up back squir squats, you know, because of the load, they work for about six weeks. And then after that, we have to find something else. So there's always a narrow window on mass building um, with almost everything actually. But with mass building especially, it needs to be done kind of by itself uh, you can't be getting ready for a triathlon and trying to build mass at the same time. Um, you don't want to run a marathon after a mass building program, I wouldn't imagine. And mass building is not going to be good for high jumpers or pole vaulters or probably, you know, people who do any kind of body weight stuff. So just keep that in your head. Uh, I have my first child on the way, and I know that my time in the gym will be limited. What do you think of a program consisting of a couple of supersets of weighted chin-ups and dips, followed by the squat portion of Mass Made Simple program twice a week. I know you don't like modifying programs, but just trying to be very time conscious in these uh, upcoming busy months while still being able to uh, maintain strength and size. You know, uh, Matt, I think that's, I think that's solid. Uh, I think you might be underestimating uh, a child. Uh, the nice thing about if, like for example, if you have three kids and you have a fourth, a newborn, a newborn is pretty easy compared to a teenager and uh, a two-year-old. Uh, however, when it's your first child, it's a, it, they are a lot of work. There's a, there's a learning curve for both of you. But I think it's a good program. Uh, I might err on the side of doing the, try this out for maybe a week or two. Just do something as simple as, you know, maybe just three rounds of dips and chin-ups. And maybe just one or two sets of like 20 or 25 reps in the squat. Don't just test it out a few times first. And, you know, it could be anywhere from, you know, if you're using uh, pounds, 95 pounds, 135 pounds. And just, you know, do those workouts, maybe a total of two weeks of that. So that'd be six workouts. So reasonable chin up, reasonable dip workout, reasonable squat workout. Fold your arms and go, you know, is this repeatable? And then slide into your idea of two, two times a week. Now, if you just don't have the time to do that little short experiment, just do the four workouts, do a, a Monday and Thursday, a Monday and Thursday of the supersetted dips and chins and the, the squats. But don't, don't go all in at first until you give yourself a, a chance to measure. Remember, if you read Mass Made Simple, I often, I mean, most of the people I work with, I wish would not go right in the Mass Made Simple. There's a six week squat program that I recommend for most people. And during that six week squat program, I really would love it if you would diet hard during those six weeks. Because I tell you something about Mass Made Simple, you get sick of eating food. Uh, that sounds odd. It, for those of you who've never tried to forcibly put on mass, eating the amount of food you need to eat is just, it's, it can be uncomfortable. Uh, it, it's the worst woe is me statement I've ever made in my life. But it is really hard. Oh, poor young man, you're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I feel for you. Okay, it's probably best not to tell people you're uncomfortable because no one wants to hear 
the fact that you're shoveling food down your throat all day. Uh, uh, good luck to you, Matt, and uh, really best wishes on the, the, the new baby. That's awesome.